So can you imagine that happening now? Like, say, like, woke up in the summer mm -hmm. and then uh, Southgate picked someone that's never even played a Premier League game. It's still, it's still a bit unfair, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. just like, because really, if it's based on merit and you're competing against someone else, well, if I'm competing against you, 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 you have to played some games and scored yeah. a man of goals. He, he didn't even play a minute, did he? No. Nope. Oh, 06. Yeah. Mr. Ericsson comes and gets this kid that no one's ever heard of. No. And plays him over you. To be fair, the kid turned out all right, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms of his career, but at that moment... It was mad. Like... For hit for how, Theo... How do you feel at that point? For Theo, said, obviously, it's great and whatever, but Yeah, and his family and stuff, yeah. But for me, I mean, it was just like... I mean, it was just same as everyone else, really, just shocked. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? When they, so for that World Cup, I got like a text about standby. And I always felt like, I remember I started that season that scored a lot of goals. And I remember the back end of the season, I don't know if I got injured or something happened. I wasn't really, I wasn't really firing like I were, like yeah. I was at a, but at the same time, I still felt like I did enough up mm -hmm. until that point. Like the amount of goals I scored like for years in the Premier League and, you know, for England and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So when I got the, when I got the, the text you're on standby and I thought Darren Bent's gone Bentley was on fire at the time yeah 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 I thought Sean would go Darren but Bentley would go and, I, and then the squad come out and I was just like and then you can imagine my phone's just going mad I can totally imagine and that. then the only thing that got me through that summer because that was that was tough man I was hurt proper mm. like the only thing that got me through that was just seeing England fans mm. Jermaine should have been going and then and then obviously and then when Michael Owen got injured yeah, oh, yeah, and, I went, and then that's what all the fans were like this is what, like if Jermaine blah 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 yeah. it was nice you know what I mean that's the only thing that got me through it and I actually travelled I was on standby but the manager he wanted me to travel with a squad to be around the squad and I remember it was the sharpest and fittest I've ever I felt all season oh wow. like, we had a little rest yeah and then we had the training camp and I felt sharp to the point where some of the boys said to me like I remember one we we, we trained. And then we was in the lunch and the boy said to me, JD, please go and speak to the boss. Mm -hmm. Tell him you have to go. Like he has to name, you have to go. I said, what, what, what am I meant to say to him? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, beg, I'm begging beg you like, for a job. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, what am I meant to say to him? He's picked his squad, blah, 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 blah. But how, did, how did he tell you that you weren't in, d just didn't or just that you just got the text and that was it? You just get a text to stand by. And obviously I spoke to the manager and he just, obviously, you know what it's like at that point. You're not even listening, are yeah, you? Yeah. Just like, just you're not even listening. The, the, the justification of because Theo hadn't even played a Premier League game. No, no, yeah. So can you imagine that happening now? Like, say, like, woke up in the summer mm -hmm. and then uh, Southgate picked someone that's never even played a Premier League game. It's, all, it's still a bit unfair, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah, just yeah. like, because really, if it's based on merit and you're competing against someone else, well, if I'm competing against you, 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 you have to play some games and score yeah. a amount of goals. He, he didn't even play a minute, did he? No. He just went out there just as a, as a space. So that was, no. that's, that's mental. Did he ever own up to it, like Sven? It doesn't seem like that kind of person, but did he ever call you after? Or just no. Like, I bumped into him in Manchester in Wings. Oh, yeah? That restaurant in yeah. Wings. And then uh, he said to me, oh, yeah, do you want to come Man City? <laughs> so it's like, hold oh, on, so I'm good enough to play for you now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You were at Man City, you're good enough to play for you at Man City, and you didn't, you didn't tell me to that World Cup? Nah, it's strange, isn't it? Yeah. Well, didn't even, did it, never brought it up, never mentioned it. Never, again. never. I, like, what can what could mm. he say? You know, um, like now, it says on WhatsApp or that, would it be Blackberry days then 2006? Yeah, Blackberry. Was there like a players chat then? I don't think there was, you know, no. England. Nah. Do you know why though? You see the England team back then weren't like the England team now. Everyone was separate. Mate. Is this, this is the Liverpool, thing I hear a lot, yeah. Liverpool, Man United. Yeah. Arsenal and then obviously the Spurs but me, Ledley, Dawes, all that lot. Like. But Liverpool, Man United boys stick together, mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you said before, across the white line, yeah, we're together. We're England, yeah. you play together but at the same time, even the Chelsea boys, that yeah. rivalry, it was like yeah, yeah. intensity, mate. It was just, it was mad. And I think it was hard for them to sort of like put that to the side. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Whereas now, it feels like the England team is more like, it's more like a club environment. Yeah. They've all come then, up together though, haven't they? A yeah, they've all the guys. 21s yeah, yeah. and obviously Southgate was with the 21s. It was managing, so, so, but, but back then, mm -hmm. poor, different. Fabio Capello, what was he like? I've heard Fozzy talk about him, said he's very, very strict. Very, very strict. Yeah. Troy, you know what happened to me, bro? <laughs> I'm in my room like this, just chilling. For all oh, the corridors are quiet. Then all of a sudden my phone rings. JD, where are you? My heart dropped. Yeah. I said, why? I'm in my room. She goes, oh, um, yeah, you missed the meeting. Bro. So I've, my top off, swinging like that and run down, coming. As I've come down to the meeting, they're walking out. As I walked in, all the staff are standing at the back. The boss is there. I said, oh, sorry, boss, like that. Sorry. He goes, unacceptable. 
Mm-hmm. It goes, when you go for dinner with your family, your mum and everyone, do you keep them waiting? I said, no, no, no. He said, don't do it here. You know, when you feel like a little kid. Yeah. yeah. But then when I walked out, I thought, you know what? You're right. Of course. Because even if you're one minute late, it's just that standards and respect thing. I liked him because when I think about all the England managers, he was the one that really gave me a chance. Yeah. yeah. When he first come in and see me in training, and I would say to me, yeah, movement's good, good. If you just do what he wants you to do, you're playing. And then, it, you know what I mean? So that's, that's why I, I liked him, me.